It's Lucas. And I'm Jacob. Ring-a-ling, ding-dong. Hey, it's Lucas. And I'm Jacob. We're actually on the phone right now. <laughs> just joking. You, straight, you started the podcast with a straight-up lie. <laughs> I know. It just kind of sets the scene for the rest of the podcast. Don't believe anything we say. Only real bros prefer hoes stands. Remember back in the days when this was on a podcast. This was a phone call podcast. We didn't live in the same area black pink in your area and um we would do the podcast and it basically was just like you'd listen in on our phone call yeah and we actually started a few podcasts saying this is just us having a phone call except for making it public and we actually privated those since then because it was so such a moment that just also was a lie <laughs> but it's so funny because that what used to be the podcast energy back then like oh you're just listening on a phone call do you remember like three weeks ago when i was like when I said, for some reason, I was like, let's switch the whole vibe of Bros of Fur Hose. And like, <laughs> yeah. we don't even pretend that it's a podcast. Like, we literally just like both walk into a room, sit on a table and just talk as if like we're just talking and like eating lunch or something. And like, there can be like two minute pauses as that happens in regular life. And, like, <laughs> we don't even acknowledge that people are watching. But then you brought up a point. You were like, I think people might be mad if we do that because we'll just stop paying attention to them. Oh, yeah. To like but we can't really us. answer it. Yeah, it was just, you know, a late night thought that um, I'm glad we didn't go through with. But the idea of it is kind of what's happening. Because it, it, cause it isn't like it's like so produced and we have like... Oh, yeah. It's so everything. chill. Nobody knows that um, behind the camera there's like 17 crew members. Yeah, just line after line teleprompters. Teresa, I'm looking at you. <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera. Oh, yeah. Um, she was actually at the Long Island Medium, but, you know. Oh, my like, God. Teresa Caputo. Is that the Long Island Medium or is that the Real Housewife? Uh, she's the Long Island Medium. Oh, the Long Island Medium. I love her and her thick hair. Isn't that a drink, too? Alcoholic beverage? Long Island iced tea. Oh, okay. Never, I think I've had that one time. And, like, if I'm correct, you get drunk. Like, there's four shots in it. You got effed up? Yeah, you get effed up. I remember I used to get this one drink called an Adios <laughs> Motherfucker. And I what felt so it? cool getting it because, like, I was like, oh, yeah, after this, like, blackout. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what was <laughs> it? It's just, like, four shots of different alcohol. Oh, I just got that they mix pills in it or something. <laughs> oh, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> just buy. <laughs> yeah, I used to, like, be the type of drinker who, like, and this happens when everyone's 21. But um, you just drink and, like, you want one drink to get you just fucked up, you know? Oh, yeah, just, like. Two hours from then. Or like even 10 minutes. And you're just like, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> you have an excuse to just be obnoxious. Oh, yeah. I'd be so annoying. It doesn't happen to me anymore. Like, I was thinking like, um, like, it just like, I never like get to the point of being obnoxious when I drink. I need to do that a few more times, obviously. Oh, yeah. I, like, don't, I don't like lose control. I don't think you're ever too old to do that. Because watching, I mean, I remember last season of Real Housewives of Orange County. They, like, went naked in the pool and stuff or something oh, like yeah. that. And, like, you're never too old to do that. I just miss the days of, like, drinking at family weddings as a teenager and, like, getting so drunk that you start crying. And, like, everyone's <laughs> like, what's wrong? <laughs> that hasn't happened in forever. I used to always drink and I'd always cry. Because I get to a point of drunkenness where, like, it's just where you just cry. Has that oh, ever happened to you? Isn't it kind of a thing? Well, okay. So, like, a few months ago that happened to me. And it's kind of a thing where, like... Like, when you're sober, I don't know if this is with most people, you kind of think, wait, like, in actual life, I don't think about that. <laughs> so, like, I, I think I just made up that I was sad for a second. Oh, yeah. I think sometimes you're not even sad. It's just, like, a thing. Yeah, it is something that happens. This actually brings me to, I actually was randomly thinking of yesterday, um, how I saw, because we were talking about The Girls Next Door, the iconic reality show. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, we um, watched a few episodes last summer, and it was so funny because it was just... Goals in a house and drama was happening. Yeah, it if you guys so aren't fun. aware, it's um a reality show that used to be on E following Hugh Hefner and his three girlfriends. Wait. Oh guys. Wait, what are you thinking of? This whole weekend when you were mentioning that. Did you think I was talking about the bad girls club? What the up? Uh, so when you said that, I, I was thinking... that's why like when you ever I remember this weekend we were talking about this, like you would describe like your opinion on it, and I kept being confused. I just went with it. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I remember you basically saying, like, it's just so ratchet and all this stuff. And I was like, I don't think that, but, like, I'll go with it. I'm like, that isn't really the vibe. That's so funny. It's guys... so funny thinking that we were both having this conversation. We were having this conversation. You were thinking about Hugh Hefner going next door. And I was thinking about 
this summer when we watched Bad Girls Club and it, how ratchet it was. And like funny <laughs> because it seems so like shitty, but in a good way. Wait, but then I remember vividly this week when we had this conversation, I said, oh yeah, like if I for some reason had a production crew for my videos and I was doing vlogs, I want it to be like <laughs> Girls Next Door. Cause like, I just love the vibe of Girls Next Door. How like, it's kind of just like, there's no drama really. And I just no. remember, I vividly <laughs> said, there's no drama in Girls Next Door. No, what did you think is, when I said that? This Here's the thing. This is what's weird about the whole thing is that I remember you saying that. And I remember thinking, first of all, why would you want it like Bad Girls Club? <laughs> because if I had vlogs and they yeah, were like be, Bad Girls Club. Cause I'm like, our actual life isn't like that. But what I thought you might is how in Bad Girls Club, it's like fake drama. Because I, I remember someone was mad oh, because yeah. they were cheating on their boyfriend. So it didn't involve anyone, but it was just fake. Yeah, I get you. That's what I thought you might. But now so do you funny. get like Girls Next Door for a vlog? That'd be amazing. Now I get what you mean because Girls Next Door Basically. is... Yeah, they just have a, I what, they do something and they just do, like, It basically is a vlog. Like, every episode, like, is just about them doing something. Like, let's go to a baseball game or, like, let's go to Las Vegas. Like, it's sort of just a vlog reality show. Yeah, like, in a way, it kind of reminds me of um Nathan for you. You know how, like, in oh, a way, yeah. it kind of has the I same I miss energy. reality shows like that, like Girls Next Door. Like, they didn't rely on drama or anything. It was basically just, like, look at these weird lives that people live. Whereas now, like, I feel like you need to orchestrate all this drama and have all oh, this stuff Oh, yeah. Happen. You need to have, like, previews that seem so but, intense. I don't know if I already talked about this on the podcast, but I, when I was 16 and went to a club in L.A. and I saw Kendra Wilkinson. Wait, you saw Kendra Wilkinson? I know. It was the coolest thing ever. Because, like, first of all, I, w- I was with, um... I think Pixie from the Fred movie, the girl that played Judy. Um, We were at Cheesecake Factory and she was with all of her friends. And this guy was like, she was with this guy who apparently could get us into a club because I think she was under 21 too at the time. And I was like, oh my God, we can actually go to a club. And I was so excited because for some reason I was in LA alone for this one trip. Because like, but you were 16. Yeah, I think it was the reason why I was out there alone is because grandpa died. Oh, R.I.P. Yeah, but I'm so no one in the family could go with me, and it was literally only for two days. So like when we were at Grandpa's morning, Grandpa, his... you were I, yeah, you went to his funeral. But when we were morning, Grandpa, you were at, with Kondo Wilkinson snorting. Cocaine. Yeah, Grandpa would have wanted that though. <laughs> <laughs> but um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so it was literally two days just doing press for the Fred movie. So I think yeah. Mom and Dad were like, "It's fine, like you're gonna be okay." And they knew Pixie's family was gonna be watching me, but um. Her family was just total down for me to go to the club. Because, like, you know, in the UK, like, you're allowed to drink is at that age. like, 16? Is they Yeah, something? so they were so down. And um, we went to the club. And I was... I remember at first, it was kind of, like, drama at the door. Because, like, they, we weren't able to get in. And I don't know how we got in, but somehow he got us in. This guy. And then at, it was so embarrassing. Because when we walked in, this guy said, Wait, how old are you to me? And I literally <laughs> said I was 16. Wait, and did they let you in? And he was just like, he looked at me like all mad. And then people I was with were like, oh, he's kidding. He's like 22 or whatever. So I almost ruined the whole thing. I don't know why I said that. Like, for some reason, I just admitted. Yeah, in that moment, you kind of just have to pretend. That I you know. Just said that but it was as 16. we were waiting at the door is when I saw Kendra Wilkins. And I don't know if I'm making up this part, but I think she pulled up in a black, black Escalade. But <laughs> <laughs> she might have just walked in. But she walked in with a friend. And they walked, like, straight in. And they didn't have to wait in line, you know? So she wasn't with her husband? No, I remember I thought that. I was like, where's Hank? Because I watched her reality show and I was wondering like, oh, she must have got a babysitter for tonight, you know? I thought Kunda Wilkinson, like obviously she visits LA, but I thought during this time she lived in New Jersey. Maybe she was just visiting. She was there. That's crazy. Um, what outfit was she wearing? Like, I, for some reason, I'm picturing a juicy couture. I don't like remember, couture. but I'm picturing like a, really, like a really tight dress that's short, like a halter top, but that wasn't it. Yeah. But I'm pretty sure that you made eye contact. And then when we went inside, though, I never saw her. Oh. Yeah, I never once saw her. But I remember the whole night I kind of hung out with this one girl who told me she was on a reality, reality show, though. She said she was on, like, a, I think it was, like, a VH1, like, competition show or something. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, the whole night we were hanging out for some reason. That's funny, a VH1 girl. Yeah. Then it was just so, it was just, like, Wait. club. Like, it was so fun. It was my first time ever going to a club. Is so it was, a like, club that I would know of or no? I don't think it exists. I think it was called The Colony. Oh, I, I, and I'm pretty I sure that it was doesn't. One that, like I might have heard of somewhere. I'm pretty sure it doesn't exist anymore. Ooh. And fun fact: um, if you're a fan of the Fred music, the next morning I, um, filmed the music video "Evil." Don't forget to brush Fred Figglehorn. Oh, didn't someone at your gym always mention that? Oh, they always mention Tater Haters. Oh, that's and that's so, the weirdest thing. <laughs> that's so that you can kind of relate to Lindsay Lohan. Cause Wait, in this, why? And she did a, like, she wasn't in it, but they, there was a show, like, The Fabulous Life of Lindsay Lohan, 
And there was like a whole section based on clubs. And she was like, yeah, she wasn't even 21, but she got in at like 16. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I did go, I did film the Evil Dentist music video the next day on like two hours of sleep. You know, just bad, wild child. <laughs> Rehab. <laughs> just kidding. Um, What was I going to say? Huh? What are you going to say? And I felt like I had something to say to add to that, but I forgot. What's the difference between a club and a bar? Like, so are clubs only in, like, L.A. and New York? That's what I get the idea. Um, there are clubs everywhere, right? Oh, but for some reason, I just picture a club to be, like, to be, like, <laughs> celebrities. <laughs> but, no, I don't even know, to be honest. When I, when I think of a club, I think of, like, a dance floor. But the weird thing is, in L.A., a lot of the clubs don't even have dance floors. Uh, sort of just like tables. I think a club is when you get like bottle service. Can you order like mozzarella sticks at a club or no? Honestly, yeah, probably. That's a big I never have, question. but. Oh, know. yeah, but we need to talk about how Girls Next Door got brought up. The fishing trip with our dad. <gasps> oh, <laughs> yeah. So, um. I like how that just brought the mood down, thinking of the fishing trip. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so, um, our dad always wants us to go like fishing and hunting, but. That just isn't me necessarily, but she asked me on Saturday and I was like, okay, let's do it. Like I'm down to go fishing. I never go. So like might as well like see what it's like. I've been before, but I haven't gone recently. Yeah. So then we went fishing, but yeah, I almost, I wasn't even invited, but I invited myself. Well, like you said, what are you doing? And I said, oh, do you want to come with? Oh yeah. So I did end up going and I was excited too. I was like, Oh my God. Like, obviously I don't like fishing and I don't prefer to do it, but it sounds kind of fun. Just like fishing, <laughs> sitting on like a river, you know? So then, <laughs> the funniest thing was, our, so we had a kayak and our dad brought it. So, so I was, so I was like bringing the kayak to his car. And when I was bringing the kayak, I remember thinking like, I don't know who's going to go on it except you, but I'm still going to bring it. So then we packed it in his car. And there's drama while packing it. And do you want to brush past this or do you want to mention it? Oh, we can mention it. So, like, so I just don't know how to do stuff like that. But he was like, oh, why, oh, why yeah. do you know? Our dad is the type of person who, like, when you help him with stuff, like, he doesn't tell you how to do stuff. But he tell, he's like says, like, do this, but, like, won't give you an explanation. Then gets mad when you don't know how to do it. Oh, yeah. So, like, this is what it would be like. So if I was editing a video, but for some reason I paid him to edit it. And I was like, oh, just do a couple cuts. And then when I come back in 15 minutes, I'm like, why didn't you do that? Because like, he wouldn't know how to edit a video, <laughs> yeah. I'm assuming. So before the kayak was even strapped into my dad's truck, you almost backed out completely. Because oh, you yeah. said, okay, like, if you're going to keep like yelling at me like I'm just done, like, <laughs> oh, I don't yeah. even want to come. I'm just doing this to be a good son. Like, none of us want to come. <laughs> there was a few mo- There was like a oh, moment. Oh, and then he also got mad at me because I was sitting on his truck the wrong way. <laughs> yeah, his brand new truck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was sitting on the truck to help do something not even on like anything fragile i was just sitting on like the side <laughs> and he said please don't sit on my truck like but then that. the funny thing was <laughs> is that okay so in my mind when this was happening i was like he's not even being that mean like like he's just like doing playful banter but then when we got in the car like he might have got a sense like we were all annoyed so then he said i'm actually sorry for what i said even though like he just said do it right and it was just that was the most funny. awkward part is apologies because like I feel like you people always want an apology but then when you actually get one it's so awkward like when he said like I'm so sorry guys like I don't want to not trying to be mean blah 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 and then it was just awkward because I was like oh it's not a big deal oh uh, yeah like I I don't really care oh and then but, once we um were on the way there or I think it happened right before we left he let us know that we can't go fishing he only can fish and we have to watch <laughs> because we don't have permits but the weird thing is is that. I'm calling him out right now because when I, two hours before this, I said, he said, do you want to go fishing? And I said, yeah. And he didn't tell me that we had to get permits. I was like, I would have bought permit. Yeah. Pullman. And I could have bought one on my phone, but I actually went to the website to buy a fishing permit. And it just wasn't really working. Like, first of all, <laughs> it would have worked, but you had to make an account. So I was like, well, I'm not going to make an account. Oh, yeah. So I was like, what? Well, I guess we'll just watch you fish. <laughs> and then, so we bought the kayak, like we said. And we brought it down this hill thing. And it was so funny because all of the kids knew, like, there was four of us. And we all knew, like, we aren't going to go on it, but we'll we'll bring it down for him. And then (laughs) when we brought it down, he was like, wait, you guys brought it down. So there was two chairs in it. And he's like, none of you guys are going to go in. And it was so funny because it was like, why are we here? Okay, well, the whole thing was so awkward. He's like, wait, nobody wants to go with me. And we're like, oh, we can't even fish. So we'll probably just wait on the shore. And then he said, oh, but. And then also my whole thing was, like, I already took a shower. And um, certain people in the group hadn't taken a shower. So I said, oh, the people who didn't take a shower get on it. And they, they also refused. 
So um, he was just mad. Then that was another reason for him to be mad. Because like, not only did we not get fishing permits, even though we didn't know we were supposed to, we were bad at helping pick up. We were bad at putting in the kayak, but now we don't even want to go in the kayak with him. Yeah, so then for like an hour, we just were walking around. Walking kinda. around. Um, we got attacked by bugs. <laughs> oh my gosh, there was people fishing, and we were all just like standing on this dock thing, Imajig, and a big bug was on our sister's leg, and she literally <laughs> screamed like she was getting mortal. She screamed. So, first of all, the bug was creepy, though. There was a bug on her thigh. She looked at it and screamed, <laughs> and she screamed in a way that I never, I feel like I've never heard someone scream like that. It made me realize actors are bad at acting, because never once in a horror movie do you hear a scream like that. This was an actual like she thought she was gonna die scream and that never happens in horror movies yeah in yeah yeah you never hear a scream like that and, and something like, scary I don't even know what it happening. was but it was so awkward because yeah people were next to us and it was just like oh everything's fine <laughs> oh yeah and then we happy. waited in my dad's truck with the air conditioner and then there's also a drama at the end for a little sprinkle on top of the sunday because i drove his truck down this this hill to pick up the kayak and he said why do you keep driving my truck and i'm like oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, I just drove it once. <laughs> and he was like, no, -uh, earlier you drove it down the hill too, because I guess an identical truck. <laughs> <laughs> an identical <laughs> truck <laughs> drove down the hill so dad was on the kayak first of all mad we weren't with him and also mad thinking why the hell are they driving my truck <laughs> yeah and then i felt like i was lying because i was like oh it was an identical truck that just sounds like such a lie oh you yeah know? but it's not a lie i know but it's, unfortunately it was an identical truck and it wasn't us driving it down yeah but then he but then everything was good and it, everything was good and we ended up getting ice cream after so you know yeah, it ended with a sweet treat. Really, there was no point of us going because we weren't even with him while he was fishing. So, so I guess next time we would have to get a fishing permit. But even yeah. then, like, I don't know if I'd go. But maybe I haven't fished with him for three years, so I'll probably have to wait another three years to say yes again. Oh yeah, wait a few years every time. Yeah. Should but... we address um how I shaved my hair? <laughs> Wait! Just get it out. That's what I wanted to mention earlier during the pause. We haven't even mentioned that. Everyone's looking at it. And oh, you, yeah. We kept them waiting. If you're listening right now, I'm so sorry that you can't see this. But if you're on the video episode, look at his hair. So the funny thing about me shaving my head. So I have a buzz cut right now. And um, so last Thursday, when, the day after I got it cut, I filmed a video going on Omega with Lucas. And that video isn't out yet. So I was thinking... Should I wear like a baseball cap for this podcast and not mention it and then mention it next week? So then there's like a big reveal for the video. But then I was like, well, like, I'm not Katy Perry or anything, so I think it's fine. <laughs> I know, but you are ruining the reveal. So you guys should all be thankful. Like, you haven't even posted on IG. Oh, yeah. So you guys are like the first people ever in this whole world so curious about me. To so know I got a when cut. Jacob posts the IG photo of the new shaved head, like, and everyone's freaking out, like, you guys could be like, oh, we already saw this. Oh, yeah. So, like, it's kind of like like I'm loading the press right now. Yeah, but you guys are getting it inside. In two days. So, just when you see the trending topic, just Jacob's hair, then you'll know, oh, we heard it first on the pod. Yeah, you really did. Yeah, when so, is the video coming out? I think on um, Thursday, I'm going to upload it. Oh, my gosh. So, how, it's, how long has it been since you shaved your head? Um, I shaved it last Wednesday. How is it? What's your thought? What's been the whole journey? Like when it first got cut, did you like it when you first saw it? Oh yeah. So I, I was actually editing the video today and, and, um, you filmed me shaving my head, you know? And, um, when I was, so, so I literally five seconds after she, she, she started cutting it, I said, Oh, I actually don't like it. I remember that. <laughs> I remember it was like awkward because none of us knew how you were going to react. And then I think you even told me like, oh, you can stop filming. Because like, it just seemed like you were like kind of, you know, dealing with a lot of emotions. And then another funny part was, was, was when um, Stephanie, our sister who cuts hair said, what do you think about it? Because like it was two minutes after that. And I said, well, like, I kind of look ugly. But, but it was funny because everyone else in the room said, no, -uh. <laughs> you look great. <laughs> yeah, but I actually, no joke, Um, I like it and I might keep like for the not forever but i mean like for the next six months i might just keep doing what i did not as well i kind of like it guys does so. it feel different when you're like outside do you feel cooler not as hot oh i feel like are you talking about like by the weather or like, by temperature oh i feel cooler but by by um appearance i feel like like i feel like more like just like like i don't i feel like so not like vulnerable i'm just like Ooh. Oh, but Jacob did bring up a good point that with his old long hair, you kind of had a vibe of like friendly, 
just like, you know, friendly type of guy, always smiling. But this new hair, it's sort of like, oh, like he could he could come at you. Yeah, it kind of ruins it with the short that I'm wearing. Because it's like, yeah. wait, you look at the hair, but then it's like, oh, he's wearing a tie-dye short, so he won't come at me. Yeah, it looks but, like you could, like, yell at someone. I know, get so pissed. I just need to get an arm full of tattoos. I know. Um, Do you um have, have you gone through, it, like, every day is it a different journey? Like, sometimes during the day you say, I'm never doing this again. I cannot wait for it to grow out. And then other times of the day you're like, oh, I love it. Or has it constantly been, I love it? Um, It's mostly just, like, I look in the mirror and it's like, oh, it's cool. Like, mm. so this is what I mean. Like, I don't love it, but I like how it's a change. So that's why I like yeah, it. Yeah, 100%. Like, I think that's like how it, I felt when I buzzed my hair. Yeah, like if you lived at the same house for 10 years and then you moved, like it would be kind of like, oh, I kind of weird staying at someone else. But then it's like, I love it because it's a change. I remember while, while, we, while um, it was getting buzzed in the process, you said, so like, I mean this in a good way. Like, I like how it looks bad. Or something oh, like that. Yeah. You said, like, I like how it just looks, like, weird. Yeah, it just kind of, like, because I, I'm so not used to it. Yeah, no, I think it's a cool new change. I think I said this um, while you were shaving your head. I think everyone should be required to shave their head once in their life. Boys, girls, anyone. Like, you, I feel like everyone should have to go through that. Yeah, it kind of, um, like, gives you a new perspective yeah, on yourself. Yeah, it strips all the vanity, and you just have to have a shaved head. Katy Perry did it. Britney Spears did it. If I was the president, that would be my first law. Oh, yeah. that You should do that if you become president. Yeah, I'd say at like 20. I think 20 is a good age for that. I'm kind of 20. Yeah, maybe uh, 19. So like the last year of your teenage years. Yeah. Everyone's buzzed. One thing about getting a buzzed cut, for some reason, something that I've been thinking about is that if I am going to date someone right now, it has to be someone that has a buzz cut just because it's a cool look. Oh, if you we want... both have buzz cuts. Oh, buzz cut season. What? Who has that song? Lord. Doesn't Troy sing about buzz cuts? Like, buzz oh, cuts. Oh, I'm not joking. When I first got my buzz cut, I mean, I was thinking, like, but whatever he said. That ripped like, jeans, buzz cut. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got the thumb between my teeth. <laughs> something like that. Yeah, something like that. I have a few, um, for this podcast, um, I have a few, um, so first of all, I got my hair shaved, but now it's time for the part of the podcast, a new segment. I haven't told Lucas about it oh yet. Oh my God, I'm excited. Well, we thank the listeners for what they've done because we have a <gasps> few announcements. Oh my so God, what is? I'm not for aware. listening and supporting. So first of all, while I was looking at our podcast thingy, my jig, we have 1 million downloads. Are you kidding? So that means we get a, do- ah! we get a dollar a download. So now we're millionaires from yeah! this. Yeah, thank you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and second of all, we have 20,000 subscribers on YouTube. Oh my God, this is growing. Yeah, our strategy just... of not promoting is working. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's so weird. If you look at our Instagrams and Twitters, like, we haven't talked about this, but we do talk about it on YouTube occasionally. Yeah, and actually, like, I don't know if we should do that because people get mad. Like, saying, I'm going to stop. People watching. always get mad and say, like, why are you revealing this? It's like, <laughs> it's like you have a friend who told you a deep secret and now you're revealing it to everyone. Except, like, we're, it's our own project that we like, hope gets listeners, but <laughs> oh, yeah, like, we aren't allowed to promote it. <laughs> yeah, it's so, like, I like how we're getting more listeners. And it's cool because, like, because I feel like the people that listen, Plus the people that watch my YouTube videos, or like there's there's like a probably a combination, but I feel like these are like the people that. Did like, you know there's people who have listened deep. to our podcast who don't even watch our videos? Wait on like Apple Podcasts. Yeah, and we've shit? gotten emails being like, "I just found you guys on Apple Podcasts, and like I don't know anything about like your videos, and I still don't really watch them, but um, I love the podcast. I just started thinking that someone like this is their first impression. I know that's so cool, interesting. I know. And then thought of all this isn't, but yeah, thank you for that, guys. But then thanks, guys. Then um, I mentioned what our pantyhose for last week, and someone said what they're for. Oh, I remember. I remember them answering this. I don't remember what they said though. Um. Okay. Let's see. They said this: pantyhose used to be re- re- required of women in some workplaces for modesty, like women shouldn't be showing their legs, and it was considered the professional thing to do. Oh, really? Yeah. So I guess um, it was because they didn't want to. They can't see the bare skin. Yeah. They yeah. Oh my gosh, I wonder, like, the first person who went to work without pantyhose, if it was like, whoa. I know, it's just crazy, because, like, nowadays you wouldn't kill it. So it would be like, yeah, but then back then it was like, where is you're showing so much. No, no, whoa. A little bit too free-spirited. <laughs> oh, what yeah. I was thinking, though, for our podcast is, right now we're at 20,000 subscribers. Should we cap it at 25,000? <gasps> That'd be... F- <laughs> is it, wait... Does YouTube have a setting for that? Well, like, oh. when you can lock the That'd account. be a good way to get people to subscribe saying, we're going to cap it off at 25,000. Then once we actually get there, we'll be like, we're going to cap it off at 100,000. And just keep <laughs> saying we're going to cap it off. Wait, that's a good idea for I like, know. 
home. Saying like twenty five thousand, we we just want to keep it a community. That was the whole point. So then, like, yeah, yeah. And then once we get there, and like you can unsub, like there's a waiting list because of course people are gonna unsubscribe. That's just the way the internet works. So yeah. once one person unsubscribes, the person on the waiting list gets in. And then also, so there's a line to get into our podcast. <laughs> and then that that, but then also like, if you wanted to, you can pay five dollars and get it. Oh, that's a good idea. But, but those people are kind of just faking it. Or though. you could you could yeah you could buy your way in, or you could just be on the waiting list and you so you could still have a chance of getting it for free and then if you leak it we're putting you on the fbi list oh yeah i never understood the whole only fans thing how is nobody leaking these videos so yeah so even if only fans has some has some security somehow or like they somehow block every screen recording people could still film it with their iphone and upload it to pornhub or whatever they want to upload it to oh yeah so yeah i don't get how that works do we already talk about i think we already mentioned on your house someone from your high school has an only fans yeah, they do. Is it slang? I haven't checked yet. Should we look at it? <laughs> Wait, should we? I look. I, we should look at it after and mention it next week. Oh my god, she isn't. I just re- want to clarify. She's not a high schooler now. She's out of high school. Oh and yeah, it's not. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> We're not looking at a high schoolers only fans. I just thought it was like interesting that someone. I know. I, went I to wonder. High I bet has. you there's someone from my high school who has one. I just haven't found out yet. Yeah, because I'm assuming if you promote it on your socials, like that, you'll you'll get subscribers. I'm assuming. Or whatever followers. SpongeBob's gay. Oh my gosh. I was so happy and I was so surprised because a big company like Nickelodeon, I feel like they'd be scared to announce I that. know. Um, it actually isn't confirmed, but Twitter and um, the internet in general kind of just decided he's gay because they did say, I think they said just happy pride and showed us certain characters from Nickelodeon. Is Whoa, that what happened? They said happy pride month. Yeah. So I just thought he was gay because everyone else was saying he's gay. But when yeah. I read the tweet, they said... Happy Pride Month um, in celebration of the LGBT community and their allies. And then I thought the photos were the allies. So I thought SpongeBob stood for the LGBT, LGB, stood for the LGBT <laughs> community. That's what I thought it meant. But yeah. I don't think it does. But he, is, he has so many gay vibes. I don't know if he's gay, but he's definitely bi at least. Yeah, and there's even parents that like don't let their kids watch SpongeBob because I they're know. scared of them it telling was, gay, which isn't a thing. But. Uh, the all... All of Google's clogged with the news that he's gay. But I I tried to Google top gayest moments from SpongeBob and I couldn't find anything because it's all clogged with the new news. But I did see an article from, I think, literally 2002 talking about SpongeBob's gayness. For real? It was the Wall Street Journal. And they said like, oh yeah, like a lot of people think SpongeBob's gay and like go off or whatever. (laughs) But um, he is, I actually saw a theory that he's asexual by romantic. I'd never heard of that before, but I could see that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it means like you're asexual, but you want to, you could be with either sex. Um, in a romantic way. Yeah. Which so that's totally SpongeBob because I can't picture him actually doing it, like getting down, throwing it back, throwing yeah. neck, um, finger banging. I couldn't <laughs> picture any of that, but I could picture just like a romance, a romance. Yeah. And the thing is that you guys can say, oh, I can't picture any cartoon character getting it down. But think about. Like, um, what's a cartoon? I don't know, but I can picture Squidward. other cartoons. Oh, yeah, I can picture him, like... Yeah, every like, now and then a grinder hookup. Yeah, I picture Squidward to be, like... I don't know how to explain it, but I feel like he's gay, but he's, like, he's gay, but he's also down for, like, other things. Yeah, I actually saw a lot of tweets also saying that Squidward's the true gay icon of SpongeBob, because he's, he is, like, the angry gay. You know, there's that classic stereotype of, like, a four, like, a older gay guy who's just kind of, like, Bitter not angry, something. but, like, they just have, like, a funny, like, angry sense of humor. Yeah, he does give up that energy. Yeah, or he just, like, he loves everyone, but he also just, like, will say shady stuff, you know, to the neighbors. Yeah, so do you think the creators of SpongeBob when they were creating it like kind of just thought like oh he could be gay but we aren't gonna like label it um i don't know that's what i want to know like i want to know like the actual tea from the creators or writers or whatever i don't know i feel like they'll just keep it a mystery you know yeah like not fully announce it but um let it be there also leah michelle has been in drama and somebody um she's been in drama because of Oh, crap, the camera turned off. Oh, let me oh. turn it back on. None of the 17 crew members are going to turn it back on? Teresa we is on lit- her phone. We literally brought, brought you Chipotle. And they're all just sitting there when the camera turns off. But um, Leah Michelle is under fire because um, she's been called out by castmates because she's been just, you know, rude on set, difficult, done, just been aggressive towards people. Yeah. And, um... I guess I actually I've already talked this. about this on the podcast. Somebody emailed us. 
How about Leah Michelle? Yeah, because I Marvin Marvin, the Nickelodeon show I was on, filmed at Paramount the same time Glee was filming there. And um, I was such a huge fan of Glee because like it had already been on a, like four years or something. I think it was towards the end. Like I don't think you watched Glee, but when I was on worked at Paramount, it was when like Leah and Michelle was kind of in it, but they were like kind of trying to get a new cast or Wait, something. Wait, like they because I watched it sometimes and they were like trying to reinvent the show. Because I remember vividly going on walking onto the Glee set because like it was lunchtime and no one was on there, and I yeah. saw like the college set because like Leah and Michelle's character went to college. Oh, yeah, because I guess they can't be in high school anymore. But then they tried to focus on, like, new high school cast, but they'd still show Leah Michelle every now and then. Oh. Uh, but, um... The music was good. I would... I was, like I said, a gigantic fan of Glee. But then again, I'm kind of a poser, because I only watched, like, three seasons. I didn't watch... Like, like, once they went to college, I stopped watching. I guess if you're, like, those three seasons, like, I'm a fan. But, like, stand. while I did watch, I remember thinking, like, I love this. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like a musical, right? Uh-huh. And um, I remember I'd ask everyone around Paramount about them. Just like, oh, my God. um, Like, cause we, there was, we always ate in the cafeteria, but they never did. And I was like, oh, how come they don't eat in the cafeteria? And they're like, oh, like, they have, like, their own, like, lunch thing or whatever. And then, like, I would, but then I would That's also. That's a thing? Like, they have their own little cafeteria? Honestly, I don't know. I think they probably just got, like, their own. Okay, they got lunch, like, delivered to them, you know? Oh, yeah. Whereas we had to pay for lunch. Oh, the, know, the shade. <laughs> but um, but I did ask people, and I heard so many times that like she was like difficult to work with. It seemed oh like my. just everyone had something to say, and I remember just thinking like, oh my gosh, like wow, like just diva behavior. And then even the sushi guy like didn't like her. Wait, why? why he just said, um, I think he's. I think this actually wasn't about her personality that much. He said that she was ma- he was mad that she was gluten free. <laughs> Because he was like, I try to make her sushi, and I'm like, she wants sushi, and then I do it wrong because she has all these allergies, and, like, nothing's ever right. Yeah, that is, like, I mean, like, I understand it. Yeah, I think he was just saying, like, everyone says she's mean, and also she's difficult when she learns the sushi, you know? Yeah. (laughs) But the craziest thing is that the girl who's calling out Leah Michelle, I did plays with in high school, I found out. Oh, you told me that. That's crazy. Samantha Ware, which is... Honestly, congrats to her for calling out the bad behavior. Yeah, I did Grease Jr. with her. In Lincoln, Nebraska, right? Yeah, we did Grease Jr. What else? I think she was in Aladdin Jr. But yeah, she was honestly so fun. Like, we were we were friends for like, over the summer. That's so crazy. I don't remember, like, Smile we messaged wolf. a little bit because uh, I found out she was in Book of Mormon. And they were performing in L.A. And I was like, we should hang out. But we just never got around to it. Because she also is, like, in the touring cast of Book of Mormon, I think. Oh. So honestly, go Samantha Ware. Love I can't that. believe, like, you know her in, like, in Lincoln, Nebraska. I know, because when I first heard about all this drama, like, I saw the name Samantha Ware and I was like, Oh, like, I know that name, but, like, I didn't even think about it because, like, I didn't even think, oh, I know this person, you know? It didn't even cross my mind. Yeah. But then as I kept seeing it, I was like, how do I know that name? And then it hit me. I was like, wait, is that the same Samantha, like, I Sammy that I did Grease Jr. with? And then I was looked into it and I was like, oh, my God, it is. How crazy from Grease Jr. It really is a small world. To calling out Leah Michelle for being mean. Yeah. Um, You know, Nebraskans, we'll call it out. Glee, um... Makes me think of when we were when we were hanging out with um one of your friends this summer and then um his mom was there. Was that this summer? Might have been two summers ago. But she told me that when I was at the Fred premiere, Jane Lynch was there. And I guess Jane Lynch um was like was like dancing with me and stuff. Oh yeah, and she then, did go to the Fred premiere, Jane Lynch. So like I don't remember this, but I guess we were dancing together and that made me so like I don't even remember, but I was so happy about that. Oh my god, you probably did. Me David Archuleta was also there Wait, for some he reason. Was there? It's because Jeanette McCurdy brought him. Were they dating at the time or something? I think they were just friends, but uh, I have a photo with David Archuleta. I've got it. What does the song go like? Crush. His got most... a crush on you. That's Mandy no. Moore. Cru- oh, how does it go? Da, 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 da. This is it. Da, 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 I got a da, da. crush on you. We aren't doing it right. We are, I want, I I want it to come to us. I want it to come to us. Okay. But then we'll play crush. it to see. Cause like, how did it go? It's like it's like oh, you were right. It's like yeah, da, da, yeah, da, da, da. it does go like that. But well, how does it go? Got crush, I got a oh, crush. Oh, do you see me here when I'm standing there? Yeah, I'm all alone, but you don't know I have a crush. Okay, that's wrong. Let's just Wait, play it. let's just play it because it it does go like with like sort of that beat a little bit. Uh, you were right. You're on the right track. But now that I thought of Mandy Moore crush, I feel like it's not gonna come to me because that's clogging. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, Got a rush. rush. Wait, we need to listen to the pout. 
want enough from you. All I ever think about is you. You've you got, got me hypnotized, so mesmerized, and I just got to know. Do you ever think when, when you're all alone, all that we could be? In a minute, no. Am I crazy or falling in love? Is it real or just another crush? That's just the question we all have. Is it real or just another crush? I know. Even when you're married, like, you're at the grocery store and, like, maybe not even a crush in a sexual way, but just, like, do I feel a connection with this person? Like, Even just, like, with recipes. Like, for example, I made a new salad today for lunch, and I'm like, is it real or just another phase, you know? Am I going to continue down this healthy lifestyle, or is it just another phase in the journey of life? Or, like, when I went on a run today, I was like, do you think this running phase of my life is just... Another phase? Or do you think it's like a crush that's going to last forever? Yeah. Is it a crush? But then again, a, oh, a crush is the bad thing. Because is it really oh. just another crush? So, yeah. So, was the one a crush? Yeah. Or was it, like it a full time, long time partner? I know. That's what's always so weird. Like, it kind of leads to the question that we're wondering is mustache, mustache, how the monogamy? Monogamy meant for humans. You know, like, is am I supposed to be monogamist with this run or with this salad? With or am I meant to be poly amorous and just like run, but also do kickboxing? I think cycling. Do you think in your life you're like just in that type of field? I think I am poly amorous or whatever because I always switch up what I do. Yeah, with like what I do in the morning. I would say that, but then I might be more of a monogamous person when it comes to just like activities. <laughs> we're, not, are we, we're just talking about that, right? Yeah, we are talking about. Oh, because like issue. for example, like I've been on YouTube for so long, I feel like I've been doing like not the same thing, but like I've been going down like the same path. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I'm, I've never been like oh, I'm gonna be a chiropractor. That's true. I just like stick to what I want to do. <laughs> I want to be a chiropractor. <laughs> <laughs> um, and other news. Kylie wait, isn't was a, a billionaire. Well, like, <laughs> like in August, you said like, wait, should I just go to like, um, um, oh. a, like dermatologist like, school and then like just two days a week like do filler for people and shit? Oh, I thought I wanted to be. <laughs> it an might have been a joke just for like a day. Oh yeah, I actually remembered that day when I was because I think I uploaded a video and it didn't do that good, and I was like, <laughs> I'm just gonna be an esthetician <laughs> just a few days a week. <laughs> you remember I thinking I'm like I can still do YouTube, but like I'll just go to esthetician school. <laughs> I don't know if I figured this one part up, but I remember you looked it up and it was like, like, n- like, so like this is for doing like not being a dermatologist. It's like six months or something. That's want- esthetician. Oh yeah, no, no, not for dermatologist. Uh, esthetician, esthetician, then right? Is it there's something like that? I just but if I that. if I was gonna go to college for something like really that you really have to go to college for, I think I would want to be like a derma something to do with dermatology. I just love that like the whole all skin. Of that. Yeah, it's just like so interesting. I feel like if I um did like a, do um study something, it would be like. I kind of say like dietitian or like <gasps> or like dietitian slash cooking. Oh my culinary! Isn't, I, I hope someone in our family becomes a col a cook. Yeah. So the thing is, is like with culinary, because like, like I know how to make spaghetti. Like you just, I just bit pasta and get pre made marinara. But it would be cool, like knowing someone that like actually like put like milk and stuff. You know, like when you watch <laughs> the cooking channel, they do actual yeah, shit like it's that. like crazy complicated recipes. Like cut actual tomatoes and shit. But um, like I was saying early, Kylie Jenner isn't a billionaire anymore, so. Just wanted to announce that on here because it's breaking news. Oh, yeah. She came up. I can't. Forbes. She's said. so poor, apparently. Like, apparently, they. Forbes said she's not a billionaire. And do you want to know what her actual net worth is? It's disgusting. 900 million. <laughs> Wait, but it's still 900 million? <laughs> yeah, it's still that much. That's but crazy. She did, I read the whole article. And I read it right when I woke up to the day it came out. It's like, <laughs> what a bad way to start your day. Just like talking about such negativity. But, um, she, they, Forbes was speculating that her and Chris and like their whole publicity team just faked. They, they forged tax returns allegedly. And like they, for some reason, Forbes just made it seem like they were like pathetically trying so hard to get her billionaire status yeah. that they were just like, like always being like, look at these tax returns or like, oh my gosh, it's doing so well. And, um, but now as they really are investigating it, they're like, they're thinking that they inflated so much. So they just wanted her. To look like a billionaire, but she's not actually one. Yeah, like, for example, I think one of the things was they said, oh, um, Kylie Cosmetics made $300 million this year, and in reality, it only made $100 million. So, oh. like, only $100 million. Yeah, because um, I remember watching the full... I, I didn't read the article, but I watched, like, a three-minute video they did about it. 
And they said, like, like she tried to say she made three hundred million a year, but I guess she actually made fifty million a year, which like you gross. I'm joking, <laughs> but also I think still. also they like the, another part was about Kylie's skin, where they said the first month we've already made a hundred million, and then it came out like the whole year they made twenty five million. <laughs> I love the voices, like acting like like Kylie talking. Like, the first but I month. do kind of feel bad for Kylie because I feel like it was more of Kris Jenner pushing this whole narrative, whereas Kylie was like. Okay, like go off. Like, if you really want me to get on Forbes, like, I'm obviously so down. Who wouldn't want to be on the cover? Oh, yeah, but if it was just her, she wouldn't. Yeah, but I feel like Chris was the one who was like, let's just forge shit and like forge tax returns and like just blow up everything. And like, if, if, if she probably thought like, if people think Kylie is a billionaire, like, this makes the businesses look better. And like, she would be the youngest billionaire. So it's like, oh, another... youngest self made, but that's all taken away now. So in this situation, the haters won because when it came out, everyone, everyone was like, ew, this is like, I forgot what they said, but she's not self-made, I remember. Oh, yeah. I just wonder what caused Forbes to take such a 180. Maybe they just, like, were annoyed with the Kardashians. Because, like, didn't they, they say they Kanye. kept calling him and stuff? Yeah, they called out Kanye, too, a few months ago for hitting them up all the time, saying he's a billionaire. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I think they kind of just... And also, in the article, it was sort of just insinuating, like, they're already making so much money. Like, even if you're only... <laughs> only yeah. even if you're making a hundred million like that's still obviously like that's enough to get an article written about oh you. yeah so lucas made such a good point because when i saw it, i was like oh that's like so weird that she lied but then you said it's so weird which is so weird that that they they already are making like a hundred million a year which yeah. is like crazy but they want to rub it in everyone's face yeah, so like, much by saying like she's the youngest billionaire yeah it's like that it isn't enough to tell the public that she's making a hundred million they wanted to rub it in the face and actually 300 million and she's projected to be a billionaire and like even if that isn't real you know yeah that is just so crazy thinking about like like how, it like, isn't flexing enough to say that she's only 900 million even 900 million is crazy but yeah. they just had to get they wanted the billion because it seems like it seemed like so much more insane yeah and um they said forbes said that like they made it uh, like through the article they said like they always are emailing us blah blah, blah but then finally once they called them out i guess like they just kind of ghosted them but this kind of made me think like do you think like we should try it I, I say, know, like, like <laughs> we could say, like, our podcast is projected to make, like, 500 million. Oh, show. my God. Should we summon the Forbes? I'm down. Because, like, what's the point of not at this point? And even, for example, like, when we did that Manscaped ad a month ago, say, they paid us $3 million for that. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you think this audience isn't? And, like, like if they reach valuable. out to Manscaped, hopefully they just want to reply. Or maybe they just go along with it because they'd be like, oh, I guess I'll be a part of this article. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we could, like, make our own fake company called, like, Shavels for Us. Oh. And then they sponsor every pattern and say, yeah, they, like, really Oh, yeah. Is us. there a way to make views private on YouTube so no one can see the views? So we can <laughs> say, know. like, they're each getting 50 million. <laughs> There's a way to make um, subscribers private. Oh, so we have 100 million subscribers, we could say. <laughs> yeah, and, like, they, it, YouTube blocks them because of our other countries. Yeah, so, like, when I was reading the article, I was on Forbes side, like, oh, this is so pathetic that they wanted to flex so hard. <laughs> but then, like, part of me is, like, go off for trying to lie that hard. Like, Kris Jenner, if, if she actually forged tax returns, like, whoa. Like, what else do they do? Then part of me, like, kind of, okay, this is what I'm kind of thinking. I'm kind of thinking, just give it to them. They're worth, she's worth $900 million. Like, she isn't the young, youngest self-made billionaire. Like, who cares? Like, all it is is a title. But you still are worth $900 million. So just give it to them, I guess. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, wait, what were you saying? Because I want to, I was going to say something about it. Was I saying something? Oh, you were saying, oh, it's funny that they lied or something. Yeah, it's just like funny that they went to that extent. Yeah, they really um, wanted that billionaire status. Also, I saw on um, Twitter today that Quibi, the new streaming platform, I guess, like, it isn't doing as well as they thought, which made me think about how, like, isn't it so funny how, like, I don't know if it's just me, but, like, if I'm thinking, for some reason, like, even if it Quibi's five ninety nine a month, or $5 a month, in reality, that's, you go to Chipotle, you spend that much, and you yeah. can go to Chipotle, I can go to Chipotle, like, three times a week, or and I wouldn't feel that bad, you know? Yeah. But if I'm spending five ninety nine on an app, for some reason I'm not I won't oh I won't gosh. open my purse. Yeah, that's you know what what I mean? is so funny. Why you, is it like that? You mentioned this also like with um renting so, a renting a movie. Yeah, so when you rent a movie on anywhere, like but what I think of is iTunes, two ninety nine, but then you're like, wait, like that's I a know. ton like, of money. Like thinking for example, if I had if I was in a room, yeah, with like six people and we wanted to watch this new movie and it was nine ninety nine to rent a brand new movie, I'd be like 
ooh. I just don't know <laughs> if like we want to give it to them, you know? Yeah. Even though I would willingly go to the movie theater if it wasn't for all this Corona stuff, I'd be going to the movie theater and we'd all be spending like ten dollars each plus food. And I wouldn't even think about it. I'd be like, oh yeah, movie theaters like that isn't that much money. But then for some reason, I'm just not willing to open up the, the purse for these people. Oh yeah, and then like even with like okay, if a YouTuber does a does like um does like a YouTube join section and I really loved them and it was one ninety nine. Yeah. I don't know why in my brain it re- registers as oh that's just such a waste. I know for some <laughs> reason with these streaming platforms that's the case. I'm like I was just wondering like I actually don't know how Quibi could win. Like it'd be so hard to launch a new streaming platform in 2020 because like we're already most a lot of people are already paying for Netflix at least and then sometimes even Hulu. And Disney, Disney Plus now? Yeah. And then some people are probably also paying for HBO. That's four streaming services. Like, I am not letting another one into my life. And with Quibi, can't you... It's only on the phone, but can't you only watch it in... Um, vertical. Yeah, the portrait... Or whatever, yeah, vertical. And also, I'm pretty sure the episodes are like 12 minutes. So it's like, what? I don't like, know how it, I feel. That sounds like a YouTube platform and YouTube's free. Yeah. So with everything combined, I think we're still saving money because cable is more expensive, right? If you don't have cable, I'm assuming. Yeah, I think. But then again, if we, these new streaming services keep coming out, then it won't. I know. Like, so I kind just... of it's almost like they're... Obviously, people should try, but I don't know if there'll be another streaming service. I could... <laughs> oh, wait. Like, I could see one if for some reason over the next year, like, movie theaters actually shut the F down. Oh, I could yeah. see a streaming service where it's, like, high-end Hollywood movies, and it's, like, $15 a month. Well, like, it's like the ones that would have been in movie theaters. Yeah. I wonder what will happen. I don't know, though. I haven't Obviously. even, I don't know the answer to this, but are movies still coming out each week on movie theaters? Because no one's going to movie theaters. So what's like happening every, with all those movies? Yeah. So everything that was going to be released, are they still just releasing it? Or I know a lot of stuff's getting released online now. That's what we were, that's what actually brought us to this convo is because Pete Davidson's new movie. I want to watch it. Yeah. But we were just like, I don't want to pay the money to rent. Oh yeah, I don't want to pay two ninety nine. <laughs> I know, I just I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> but I am gonna watch it. Sometime. Yeah, no, I will eventually. Eventually, I'll like have someone else order it, and oh, I'll say like, like I'll Venmo you, but I won't because I'm like, oh, it's only two dollars. Like, do you really want me to Venmo you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, like I like I like somehow like say like oh wait, but like two dollars equals this. Oh you know, yeah, like, two dollars. How much is extra guac at Chipotle? I think like a dollar fifty. So it's like almost two ninety nine, almost. Yeah, almost you- half, I guess. But, <laughs> but um, th- I feel so bad for the people who made Quibi though, because I looked at the replies to the tweet, and someone's all of them were hating. First of all, like I don't know why everyone has such hate towards Quibi. And then one of them even said, "What?" And all exclamation point said, "I thought Quibi was free, and even then I wasn't gonna download it." <laughs> wait, I because they said they said, "Wait, you have to pay money for Quibi?" <laughs> like they were so shocked. Like, wait. I, didn't, I thought it was free. I still hated it. <laughs> how does... Okay, how do these internet hate trains stop? Because I've been on YouTube multiple <laughs> times, went to my recommended. There's been videos with like, I don't know about a million views, but probably like up in the 500,000s, where it's like, why Quibi is... Okay, just some title about why it's pathetic or something. Wait, there's YouTube videos about it? Yeah, there's YouTube videos about how Quibi's bad, but how do these hate... Tra- like, even I hate it for some reason. I know. For some reason, I don't know how it got into my mind either, but... Before it even came out, I was against it. Like, actually against it. Like, I can't get over that person saying, even if it was fully, I'm not dying. That's like <laughs> yeah. a hateful tweet. Because I think when I heard it was vertical, that's when I was like, oh. oh. It's like, what? Even YouTube isn't vertical. And like most, a lot of, like a large percentage of at least my analytics say it's watched on mobile. People still want to watch it <laughs> widescreen. And I don't get why people do vertical music videos. Oh, that's another reason why I don't want to watch a Snapchat show. Yeah, because, like, if Snapchat wants to give me a show, I'm down, yeah, like, but... And also, I have watched a few, but have I ever watched them on Snapchat? No, I've I watched only... them illegally on YouTube. Yeah, I don't the watch bad baby them on one? Snapchat. Oh, that one was kind of good. I what, know. What happened Also, the Nikita again? Dragon one I watched. Oh, I watched like... one episode, but then, like... <laughs> it's so scripted. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I like Nikita Dragon, but it seems so fake, so then I was like... Man. Yeah, which I kind of loved, but then I just forgot to keep watching. <laughs> I want to... My new reality TV show that I'm going to start watching, which I haven't yet, is, um... The Nikki and Gabby one. <gasps> Have we talked you about that here yet? That to me, but if you, no, I don't know. If you're bored, go to Austin Miss TV. It's free. You just watch the Nikki and Gabby. I think like they have four seasons by now. The episodes are like 10 minutes and it's, I love it. It's so <laughs> good. It's just them. And they're these two YouTubers. If you don't know, they're twins and it's them and they're like Pennsylvania friends. And they all just go to like a house and just like drink and 
do you like a Jersey Shore type show, but not? And it's so funny because it's the only reality show where they constantly talk about being on a reality show. That sounds so funny. Because <laughs> they even bring up like, like what, some of the fights on the show were about like, oh yeah, like we didn't want you to be on the reality show this season, but because you don't really bring that much drama. <laughs> so it's basically just admitting that it's fake. No like, other you don't bring reality drama. show would say that. But then the girl who got called out for not bringing drama then brought drama and threw a drink on one of them. Oh, wait, why? Just and then, like, and then they got called out because that, that was one of the twins' assistants. And they were like, you just threw a drink on your boss. And like had to bring her back back down to like ground and be like, wait, we're employing you. And you just threw that. <laughs> but then to <laughs> her defense. You just threw a drink on your boss. <laughs> <laughs> to her defense, they just got done telling her, you don't bring enough drama. So uh, I tried to bring the drama and you get mad at me. <laughs> Wait, so I have a question. With like these assistants for celebrities or YouTubers, is it kind of like signing up to be like a part of it too? Like you're signing up to work for them, but then also to like be in their videos and stuff. Yeah, that is a good job because like David Dobrik's assistant, for example, she does, she has so many Instagram followers and she does brand deals now on Instagram. Yeah, so you make money for the assistant job, but then also you can do your own shit. Yeah, like after a year, you could just quit and be like, I'll start a podcast. That's crazy. Yeah. Do you think they make them sign NDAs? Uh, I, like I, with the ones that I've seen, it seems like they're fun. So just what do you like, think they're still as an NDA just to protect? Yeah, probably just in case some shit happens where they seem like a shitty person. Yeah. I remember I used an editor on YouTube and he had me sign an NDA or he signed an NDA. I didn't even ask him to. He just said, oh yeah, I work for a lot of YouTubers. Like here's my NDA I signed. And I felt so cool. Like, oh, someone signed an NDA. Like Tenemojo. Keep on the sign NDAs. Keep on private. Yeah, it's like now in my keep footage I send to you, I can say horrible things and you can't show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Oh it's yeah. Both. Like we film a video together and like we get in like a fight in it. And I'm like, cut that all out, please. And he leaks it. I know. And like the five people truth. care and they're like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Oh, but somebody did email us and the subject of the email is <laughs> I family. I love how you said that. Cause it sounded like one person did email us this week. <laughs> <laughs> family nose job scandal. Okay. I saw the subject, but I didn't read it. So, it's a lot of dramas to get ready. Um, they said, I've been feeling really insecure recently about my nose because the bridge is very tall. Blah, blah, blah. She's insecure about her nose. Rude. And um, so she was crying to her mom. She And she's confused because apparently she thinks she has a bad nose. But Lauren, hopefully you didn't tell us not to say your name. I'm sure you have a beautiful nose. You should embrace it. But anyway, she was confused because she's like, my mom and dad have like these perfect noses. So like, am I adopted or what? And apparently she cried to her mom and was like, just admit it. Like, did you have an affair? Like, how do I not have the, how do I have such a gross nose and you guys don't? And she found out her dad secretly got a nose job. <gasps> when, okay. Yeah. And she said, I was shocked. Like, what the F? Why did he not tell me this? Of course, he can do what he wants and get any surgery he wants. But now <laughs> I am left with a nose he paid thousands of dollars to get rid of. I want to confront him about it because I've always considered getting a nose job. However, I don't want to make him feel bad for not telling him about me. Please help me. Should I confront my dad or just live the rest of my life hiding his biggest secret? That would be weird because... um. Because you would have the nose. And it's like, he did pay thousands oh. of dollars to get rid of this I didn't nose. even think about the layers of this. Yeah, because she said that. And I was like, that's... Wait, because just, if like, yours... I bet you she'll go to her dad and be like, I don't like my nose. And he said, your nose is beautiful. And then you could shoot back and be like, why did you pay 10 grand to get rid of it? Yeah, that's a way... Like, I never thought about it like that. Yeah. I mean, obviously, if you really just want a nose job, you're allowed to do whatever you want. But I feel like you should just embrace it, you know? Be honest about it. Because, like, certain people get a nose job, and I feel like they looked better before. Because they looked more unique. There is, yeah, there is so, and, okay, I, no, this, okay, so, the, okay, so we're just going to talk about the stereotypical nose that people don't like. I'm not joking. Most people that have a nose, it looks cool on. It For example, cool. everyone's, again, everyone's allowed to do whatever they want. But Ashley Simpson and Ashley Tisdale, I preferred them better before, although it's their body, they can do whatever <laughs> they want. But I'm just saying I liked their originals because it gave them like a little bit of spunk. Like they had a different nose, but then all of a sudden they all have this identical nose and they all just start looking the same, you know? Yeah. It's just, just kind of one weird thing because because it's like be honest about it. But then – but then Yeah, this okay. is hard though. I, I think I'd definitely confront my dad. <laughs> yeah, I probably would too. Why not? I'd just be like, oh, but then you're also getting your mom in trouble because – uh, what I would do is not throw the mom under the bus because apparently they're divorced. I don't know if I revealed that info. Oh, wait. Then maybe there'll be drama. But yeah. I would just ask him and say, listen, we have such different noses. 
you got a nose job or a mom did. Who did it? And just ask him. And then if he starts lying, I'm assuming when he starts lying, he'll seem a little bit nervous. So then you can throw it back and say, you seem really nervous, so I'm just going to assume you got a nose job. Yeah. So then basically, sooner or later, he'll come full. Don't assuming. throw your mom under the bus, though, and cause divorce drama. Yeah. Or probably. you can even lie, because I feel like adult like people like her dad's age might think that teenagers or i don't know how old you are they might think that they have like more info on stuff so you could say like i watch a plastic surgeon on youtube and you have all the signs that he says you would have if you had a nose job oh, so yeah. you could say like i see the incision mark or something you know yeah like i know but then again like when you confront him like i guess like why are you getting mad at him because he just wanted to do it you know what i mean like he's allowed i guess the what what's the point of getting mad? Oh wait, wait. So here's the thing. This is what I was thinking. I was thinking like you can just find, even though you know it's true, you can just hundred percent be like, even he admitted to it. So like you would just get the pleasure of being like, yeah, yeah, he did get a nose, even though you know it's like. The- and then you could talk to him and be like, I've been thinking about getting a nose job. Like, do you regret yours or like what do you think? Yeah, who knows? Maybe he doesn't like it. Yeah, and then you can I just have wonder. a conversation with someone who's already gone through with it. And your dad, of all people, you know? Yeah. I, I'm curious about what happened to the couple that... Oh, wait, this was on Reddit, not someone that emailed us. That they wanted to break up with their boyfriend because they had a different face structure before they oh, were dating. He was, she was mad that she found that her boyfriend got plastic surgery. Yeah, I wonder what happened with that. What's the tea? I'm assuming she might have broken up with him because if she was that offended by it, she might as well just... She's always going to be thinking about him having yeah. a plastic surgery. She's probably not the right person for him, you know? Yeah, very true. Well, with that, um, have fun confronting your dad about his secret plastic surgery. Be sure to film it. Yeah. That'd be a great YouTube video or a TikTok. I just really have to go pee. so I can. We're going to have to head out. Thank yeah. you guys for listening. Subscribe. Follow us on our social medias. Um, spread the word about how we're capping this podcast at 25K subscribers. So if you aren't subscribed, subscribe now because... Pretty soon we're capping it off for life. After and, um, that, it's ten, six payments of ten ninety nine. Yeah, after month. we just got done saying we would never pay for streaming, we're now going to ask you to pay to subscribe. So um, hypocritical. All right. Peace out. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs>